actually on paper I couldn't achieve that very well so on paper here it's actually creating a thinner line on this surface and on paper it was a lot thicker however the marks were better on paper than on the surface of the paint and then I think I'll just create these horizontal lines and we'll try it with that with the water then let's do the same thing with Museum Aquarell by Karen Dash this is again white and just the regular so this is quite comparable to these two so that was the Durvant Light Fast and Polychromos just the simple kind of lines in terms of the uh, opaqueness. Let's try, yeah, the mark making is not doing very well. So this one would be very comparable to the polychromos, so I can hardly see anything here. No pigment payoff. And then let's try a fine line. The fine line is quite nice, but it's not keeping the fine line very well. But it does, I mean, it, it, there is nice um, pigmentation in there. And then we're going to do horizontal line for the water. Okay, let's try the final water soluble pencil. So this is the Derwent Ink Tense in Antique White. So it feels like it's not gliding as well on the paper as you can see there's sort of breakdown oh mark making it's the worst it's even worse than the poly polychromos because I get some sort of particles of the white but it's not even consistent so that one probably would be a no-go for paint or layering mixed media projects or abstract art. So now let's try the horizontal lines. We'll try that with water. Finally, let's see if we can use the Caran d'Ache luminance and whether that would be any good in pink white. So yeah, that's beautiful. There we go, glides like butter. It actually doesn't look too pink. Um, it looks quite comparable to the whites. So it doesn't look too tinted on here. And mark making is absolutely fine. And then let's see the fine point. Yeah, it keeps the point beautifully. There we go. Okay, so that's our test run. What I will do is uh, I will now use some water. So let's see what happens when we add a bit of water. So here are the water soluble pencils. So it smudges quite a bit. What I'm looking for is whether we still keep any of those marks that we made and how much opaqueness we get from introducing the water. So far I can see that this pencil keeps the marks more visible under the water. These blended out really nicely. Let's try the ink tents. Hmm. So ink tans, it's safe to say, it's not really doing much on uh, paper. So I'm going to label them quickly and then give you a bit of a close up and that will be it. So let's look at these um, white pencils slightly closer. And what we have here is Derwent drawing pencil, which probably would be my pick along with Holbein soft white and Derwent Graphite Tint White. So those three pencils, I would say, did really, really well. Um, also the Luminance Pink White, if you 
can ignore the fact that it's a pink white. So, Chinese white, beautiful. Durbant Light Fuss White had a, a bit of a problem with the mark making, but again, it depends whether you uh, like it quite opaque or not. Uh, it did indentation. So the most indentations I got is from Durbant Light Fuss White, Polychromos White, Museum Aquarelle White, and the worst, probably, uh, you know, um, in all kind of of these swatches, mark making and the water soluble test. It probably was the worst out of them all. It's the Ink Tense Antique White. However, on the paper, I think it behaved quite right, didn't it? Yeah, so on paper it did a lot better right here than on the paint. So safe to say, if you wanted to use it in abstract art where you want to layer your mediums, this pencil would not be great, but it does really well on paper. Um, then what do we have? Polychromos White, Holbein Soft White, China Marker White. Let me bring it up closer. So if you're working on larger scale and you like to place a lot of medium and thickly and you don't need to fiddle with smaller marks, China Marker White probably would be a good pencil for that. Then we have Derwent Graphite Tint White, which has the benefit of being also water soluble, if that's something for your interest. Out of the two, with the Museum Aquarel White, it performed a lot stronger on the, um, on the paint here, so it layered beautifully. Uh, you can see the line itself is stronger than here. The mark making is superior, here it didn't do very well at all. And then keeping a finer line, although it was a little bit difficult um, to achieve a, a, you know, a thinner line. But I think it did better than it actually did on paper in terms of keeping the finer line. On paper it uh, felt a lot softer and chalkier, so by that I mean it layered beautifully, it was opaque, but it just... Let me just pull it up here. It just became a much thicker line, so is this one here. Museum Aquarelle White. Now, what was it on paper? Let me see. It swatched a right on paper. It's this one. So, opacity-wise, it, it did well. Um, on, on the paint, let's say, it did worse and it just didn't do very well with the mark making. And when it came to water soluble, I felt that you could still see the marks fairly well compared to here. Here you had more pigment, if that's what you wanted, of course. Ink Tense Antique White, we already said, it didn't perform well on any of these tests. And then finally, Luminance Pink White, which I was quite surprised, but pleasantly surprised that it actually, um, you know, swatches very closely to Chinese white and honestly I just can't see it being too pink so if I go next to it right next to it and just swatch a line so the last two lines are the the pink white you can't really see any pink in there so that's quite good um, you would see it though swatch like that and if I take the Chinese white and swatch it next so here I wonder if you can see a bit better now so this is the pink white and this is the Chinese white on white paper so on the black you can't really see the pink come out too much which could be a good thing um, depending what you're after so I hope you found this useful. I really wanted to have a video on my channel where you can refer to, and actually myself as well, uh, this was super super useful. I roughly knew which pencils I enjoyed using for white, but there have also been a few surprises uh, for myself, like I literally discovered the Durban Graphite Tint White. Who knew it would perform so well um, for like, you know, layering on other mediums and things like that. Um, 
yeah so it's been a really really useful exercise do let me know if there's anything that you can think of a thorough comparison video apart from the watercolor pencils which is still coming so thanks for watching and i will see you soon